Uh, what we're going to do is play a video from Hildebrandt Family Farms. We'll hear from them from Wisconsin. So, team, if we could play the video. Um, right here, we have Brett Hildebrandt, Ty's brother. Um, what he's doing is putting on the milk machine. The milk machine, um, as you can see on the bottom, there's milk going through the milk claw. The milk claw has four prongs. Those four prongs are hooked up to a rubber inflation to a stainless steel shell. That top hose uh, has pulsation or vacuum, so it's gently squeezing those teeth ends to extract the milk for milk harvest. That bottom hose is taking the milk going into the pipeline. Uh, you can see two cows being milked at the same time. Uh, once again, those milking machines can be moved down this line. You do see inlets that can close and open to put in those milk machines. Uh, the milk goes into the pipeline. A lot of pipelines are gravity fed going down into what they call a receiver jar. We'll see this here shortly. It's that stainless steel tank. Once it hits that stainless steel tank, a probe kicks on and pumps the milk over to that 45 degree filter. That filter um, right there in that stainless steel pipe will send it over to a plate cooler. You can see that radiator thing, that's a plate cooler. What that plate cooler does is takes well water and cools the milk down from about 100 degrees to 55 degrees. Once that milk is cooled down, it, it follows this uh, pipeline and goes directly into the bulk tank. That bulk tank has a filter and also cooling, uh, so it cools down the milk to that 36 to 42 degree desired temperature. About 20 or 30 minutes later, the milk hauler shows up. Uh, this is Persia Trucking. They've been picking up milk at the Hildebrandt Family Farm since they've been in business since the 60s. Uh, this is third generation milk hauler, Justin Persia. Once he gets there, he's going to open up the doors to the back of the truck. He's going to pull out the milk hose um, and put it into the uh, milk port. In his back left pocket, he has a manifest and paperwork that he will need to fill out before he can take it to the manufacturing plant to be unloaded. He will grab that two ounce vial. Uh, that is a, in his left hand, a sample dipper that he'll be able to take that sample. He'll plug up power on the wall to the truck because the truck has a pump. He will have to wait a certain period of time to agitate then also uh, measure the milk. There's Justin pulling that two ounce sample vial. Once he has that vial, um, he will put, have to put that sticker and barcode. You can see a sticker in his right hand. There's the manifest and paperwork that he will need. On this manifest during that day, he had five dairy farms on it and there's uh, five samples in that secure cooler. Um, what he'll do is close the door, lock it up, and there's Justin heading down the plant or down to the plant that's about 30 miles down the road. And then um, there's the cows out feeding and out on pasture um, after they got done milking. Um, I wanted to take a moment and, and kind of um, explain the importance that dairy farmers do every day in regards to milk quality and food safety and uh, how many people are affected by the job they do every day. Um, consider that a you know, single milk silo at a manufacturing plant is 600,000 pounds. So that is 12 full semi loads. So if that one farm, if it was Hildebrandt Family Farms with 90 cows or if it was just in Persia, you know, taking that one load of milk into that manufacturing plant. Um, so that one of those 12 loads in that specific silo, how important is it? Next slide. Um, just kind of consider for a moment that the average household consists of three, five, or 3.5 people. Then um, each household buys one gallon of milk each week. Um, that means that the milk in that silo is equivalent to 244,185 consumers. That's how important it is, uh, the work that the dairy farmer does each day. Um, 